Are you a content creator looking for effects to bring your videos to a whole new level? Welcome to Production Crate. Production Crate is the resource for graphics, visual effects, music, and much more. On top of that, these assets are compatible with your editing software. Get your unlimited free effects today or premium effects for only $49 a year. Make it awesome. What's poppin' guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Now in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you guys something really cool. So you guys all know the artist, uh, Billie Eilish. She sometimes has like black eyes in like certain videos. So I thought like, why shouldn't we just recreate that? So what I do is I just stand here in front of the camera. The green screen doesn't really matter, but it actually is about our eyes that we're gonna make black. So in order to actually do this, we're gonna also track our eyes, which is really cool in Vegas Pro 16. You can also do that and Vegas Pro 17. So if you're wondering if you can do this in Sony Vegas Pro 13 or 14, which some of you still have it is unfortunately not possible well it is possible if you want to mask it all by yourself like frame by frame but we're going to use the Beezer masking for now so I'm just going to use this clip in the editing itself in order to show you guys how to like track your eyes while you're moving and also make them black so if you guys are excited make sure to smash the like button down below subscribe if you're new for more Vegas 17 tutorials and all kinds of videos basically on this channel so with that being said let's get started right after the intro So as you can see right now, we are in Vegas Pro 17 and what we're going to do first of all is we need a couple things. First off, we need the clip that we just filmed right here and then we also need like a black image. So what we're going to do then is we're going to drag that first image, that black one on top of everything that we have. So then what we need to do is we need to basically motion track our eyes. I'm just going to go ahead and for example, like split it for example right here, duplicate this clip by pressing control C then press control V again, but we don't need the audio. We, do, we only need the audio once. So then I'm going to right click and insert a new video track. And then I'm going to drag this clip on top of it. And this is basically where we're going to mask. We need to motion track our eyes actually on the second clip right here, the top one. So we're going to mute this lower clip. We're going to lower the opacity for now. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the video effects tab and we're going to pick baser masking or how do you even pronounce it? I'm not really too sure. I heard like a thousand different, you know, pronunciations, but we're going to pick the circular one and we're going to drag that on top of a duplicated clip. Now, as you can see right now, this is basically what we will see. And what we need to do now is we need to select both of our eyes. So we also need two of those. So that's basically what we're going to do. So the simplest thing that we're going to do is duplicate this track like that. We were tracking two eyes. So then what we need to do is we need to basically crop this down and we're going to also make it in terms of like an eye shape like that. We're going to lower the opacity of that one just first of all. Okay, so then as you can see, this is just kind of like an eye shape. So now we need to just basically shrink this guy down until we have covered one of our eyes, obviously. So I'm going to do it like that. But then I'm just going to also make it just a little bit smaller and just like that. And then we're going to also do that for the second one. So as you can see, this is only our eye masked out. So we also need to do that for the second one. So we're gonna click on the event back crop, go to Beezer masking, and we also need to make this one in kind of like an eye shape. And then we're gonna also shrink it down and also just, for example, like tilt it just a little bit. And we also can just position this on our eye on their other eye. But then we're gonna also make that smaller. So let's close it out. So as you can see right now, both of our eyes are actually tracked. Now, what we need to do is we need to make sure that the black holes will follow our eyes. So we're gonna click on the vamp and crop of the first duplicated track, and we're gonna go back to the Beezer masking. Now we're gonna click on mask one, and you also need to click on tracking. Now, as you can see, we have a timeline at the very bottom if we click on start. Now it's gonna create keyframes like really, really fast. And this is just a really handy feature because let's say that you have to do this manually frame by frame is going to take way too much time and that is basically a really really simple method to avoid like manual masking and tracking and all that it's just going to create keyframes just for ourselves so this is what we've done to the first eye or left eye obviously and now we also need to repeat this process for our right eye so i'm going to just wait until this is finished motion tracking so now we have all the keyframes right here as you can see in our timeline that's a lot of time saved as you can see we're going to also do that for the second one so click on the top one I'm going to click on event pan crop, go to the Beezer masking. You want to pick mask one. 
And then we're going to click on tracking and we're going to also hit start. Obviously, it is starting obviously right here. It's going to create the keyframes just like we did a couple seconds ago on the first clip. And then the next thing we need to do is basically shrink down the eyes and then obviously make sure that it will follow this tracking. And then you will have some black eyes just like Billy Eilish has because it's really easy to do this on an image is just adding some eye shaped black images or like you know, a couple dots. But right here, when it comes to video, you want to make sure that, you know, that the eyes are following the exact motion track. As you can see right now, if I play it back, it is basically following our eyes. The only thing what we need to do now, mask out our eyes on this black image. So I'm going to also do that. So click on the event pen crop icon of that black photo. Then what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in just a little bit. And then we're going to click on mask to begin with. And then we're going to go ahead and obviously mask out our eyes. So I'm going to lower the opacity for now because so I can see through it. I'm going to hire the first one obviously so now obviously what you can do is zoom in quite a bit and let's go ahead and shrink this down and create our eye shape then we're gonna go ahead and drag it over our eye obviously you want to zoom in and adjust the shape and everything but you guys know how it works and what i try to say so we're gonna also do that for our other eye so let's go ahead and do that so now i'm gonna also position it but as you can see right now i have to tilt it just a little bit to the to the right to make it look like a little more realistic as you can see now that we have this one what we need to do now is we're gonna hire the opacity of all the other remaining clips we need to go ahead and make sure well if, well first we're gonna align those eyes obviously to the first frame of the clip so i'm gonna drag this up just a little more okay so as you can see right now those are black eyes what we need to do now is we need to make sure that those eyes are following the motion track that we just applied onto both of these clips so in order to do that it's really simple you want you to go ahead and select this one select that one and that one so it will follow both of our eyes okay and the last thing that we need to do is we need to apply the picture in picture effect onto the eyes so that's basically what we're gonna do all right guys so as you can <laughs> All right, that wasn't supposed to happen, but let's move on. All right, so the last thing that we need to do then is go to tools. You want to hit scripting and you want to click on copy motion track to PIP after you apply to the picture in picture effect, obviously. So we're going to hit that. So this is basically what it looks like, guys. Obviously, you can make your adjustments to these keyframes and it can look a little bit unrealistic, but you have to imagine that this is just done in a couple minutes. If you really, really want to take it to the next level, you can also mess with the blending mode and with the feather type to make your make the black holes like blend into your eyes you guys know how it rolls but this tutorial otherwise would be 45 minutes long showing you guys all the details but you guys right now know how it works you want to make sure they will just crop out the black eyes motion track your eyes obviously on those clips and also you just want to go ahead and copy that motion track to the picture and picture effect that's how the black eyes will follow along to your real eyes so guys that's for this video thank you so much for the continued support if you have any more suggestions for Vegas Pro 17 videos make sure to drop them in the comments down below thank you guys for the continued support i'll see you guys obviously in a brand new video on Wednesday. So that's it guys and I'll catch you guys obviously in my next video.